cannons with a beam. Beam laser is working way better. All right, there we go. I added some multipliers and we managed to finish this challenge quite easily. So guys, in the last video, we miraculously unlocked the new ship. We got a destroyer with way too many turrets and defense and everything and it's fan tastic so i want to do something right now i want to do the retrofit while i can in order to do the warp drives and maybe progress a bit more and just get more om from this more research and everything so what i will go for i will keep this gatling beam laser combo it works really well on top of that we need some kinetic stuff and we need missile launcher i think because there are way too many weapons so we will get kinetic cannon for those armor damage synergy that will help us so much with those armored enemies bomb launcher is pretty much useless missile launcher can it get any bonuses for us if it will be useless we can get some fire rate out of it but overall it wouldn't be the best thing if we would not use those rockets but sometimes we get a swarms of enemies and it might really help us to weaken them for the other defense slot i will get just another shield because i mean continuous generator won't really work the damage is being split between the shields and there is no no point on getting anything else for those things i will keep synth station because it's nice and get the research station instead of what i have right now because that will allow me to do more research progression here and that will give me really good benefits so yeah i am torn between using two kinetic cannons that will give me 40 percent per cannon and oh and there was a fire support so yeah, that will actually help me with kinetic damage quite a lot, but I don't know if it's worth it to go for two of those or get something like a missile launcher. Because missile launcher as it is isn't really high damage, but the good thing that now we can compare missile launcher and single target and multiple target and we can do one more retrofit after that as well if we want to. So before we do that, let's boost salvage a little bit and uh, get ourselves some salvage from this area in order to upgrade all the equipment when we get it straight away. I think what we have right now will be enough for the starter. So let's go into the prestige area, make sure everything is right. Oh, it's not, because we need kinetic cannon and missile launcher. Those laser cannons, Gatlin, beam laser, bulk, bulk, synth, and research station. This will look good. All right, retrofit. Yes, hell yeah. So let's get some upgrades straight away, so we will not be instantly destroyed by the enemies. All right, and from here, we need like 10 of each. Okay, why are we still dying? So yeah, we can do the reset to the damage meter right now and see how it will go from here. And I really like the design of multiple weapons included. That looks really great. So yeah, it seems that <laughs> the results are kind of the same. Gatlin laser and beam laser are the best. Everything else is so inferior in terms of the damage right now, even though those guys are armored. And those kinetic weapons are supposed to do crazy damage, but no. Missile launcher is just there, even when it hits those multiple enemies, it's not going forward too much. Laser is just destroying everyone, and uh, it's contesting the Gatlin laser at points, because we have the range for it. Huh. So yeah, we can see that kinetic cannon is doing some damage, laser cannons are just support here as always, missile cannon can do anything. I think one of the reasons because the enemies are shielded, second, because missile launcher is focused on like multitude of small enemies, so uh, if I would like to get the better results, I can just get another beam laser or gatlin laser and be happy with that. And right now my weapons are kinda all focused on damage so those kinetic and missile launchers they are not focused on doing something like support roll or something like that so they basically do what they can to do most damage i think i will use kinetic weapons for the support for my lasers and everything i might change missile launcher for the bomb launcher why because bomb launcher have two max range synergy and that will allow my weapons to shoot enemies before they get closer and that means saving up me from those pesky sniper shots. Moreover, it will shoot itself forward as well, so that might be good. Or I will just get another of those and get additional multiplier against the all armor. Because yeah, even like that, the kinetic cannon is doing way better damage than everything else. What the hell is that? 
than what we have. Attracts enemies. After you defeated the current wave, instantly starts next wave. Okay, this is interesting. So that will increase spaw spawning uh, farming rate for some enemies. That's an interesting mod here. So yeah, I think that would be the best option. So bomb launcher it is for extra range. So we can start enemies faster. They will die faster, basically. As simple as that. Rockets, missiles, they are not so good for us. Everything else stays the same. I'm just testing things out because I have to do prestige anyway. But right now I can try different things on the high level to figure out what will work and what not. Moreover, it will save on the resources for the upgrade. So I won't have to spend that much money on upgrading every weapon. I can just focus on my Gatlin and Beam Laser and uh, get those things as a support. They are already tuned as a support weapons anyway. That's nice. All right, so let's upgrade our main weapons right now. Ah, oh, wait, we need to do the reset to see how other weapons are handling the heat and everything. I actually like it. The bomb launcher is doing its best, actually shooting at the enemies as well, just as like kinetic cannon. And they are doing maybe not the greatest damage, but still something cool. And keeping enemies at bay, especially for the big Beam laser is really good because that allows us to warm up the laser before the enemies comes close and the small guys they are just being decimated anyway so we should be good with this build for now let's upgrade the gatlin and the beam laser to get more dps out of it shields for well extra shielding and now we need advanced scene station upgrade and the research upgrades that will actually make our progression way better and yeah i might want to go for some more kinetic and bomb launcher but i don't expect them to do any good in terms of the damage right now because they are there for the support and our main weapons will be good enough right now i think so we should be okay and if we will need some extra damage we can always click on the volley and that will allow us to, well, get double weapon damage for the lasers as well. So, yeah, that's a convenient way of doing extra DPS if we need it. Next unlock will be in sector 44. It's not that close. And before going there, I want to go back here and destroy this boss. I should be able to handle it. I'm not sure. By getting this ship and research module, my research just skyrocketed. And we're getting five times research bonus from here. And all other multipliers are rising as well. So we can switch from this to something else. And then that one will rise. For example, like rising the VP generation means that we will get higher levels of boosts here really nice i really like the idea of get of getting six guns guys that's really nice and i was waiting for this for so long i was expecting to get one extra gun not six it's fantastic All right guys so it's the next day and this ship is actually working pretty well i managed to do some warp runs today and i've met a cap on alpha i think the cap will be raised as i will progress the sector itself and other areas have higher caps so right now i can't go through difficulty 42 and as for the damage it's kind of weird the gatlin laser is still the best in the core areas where enemies are getting close like this in other areas where enemies are a bit far away and slow the beam laser works better kinetic cannon bomb launchers pretty useless even right now so i was thinking uh, i don't have any more retrofits that maybe i should put like extra gatlin laser or extra laser cannon to buff the damage of our other weapons so that will give my two laser build more dps and to be precise it's like 30 percent from this one and 30 percent from this one so it's like either 60 percent or they can be not added but multiplied we can actually check that right now so the damage 4.15 3.2 yeah it's multiplicative so if i have like for example 10 e40 dps and i get this one i will get 13 then if i'll get another one it will not be 16 it will be a 13 multiplied by 0.3 well higher basically so they will work together as additional multipliers and that will be pretty cool i will try to do that build next my synth is running like crazy so we already managed to max out some things like those how are those things called those conductive alloys of orange they are maxed out right now overnight and right now we are maxing out the ultra alloy so 
we won't have to produce them after the reset and my reactor have insane amount of energy so i'm boosting its energy production capabilities so we'll get higher boost over here because in the warp drive over here i've spent some resources and i've got through this now we have plus three max concurrent boost so we can get six and void power supercharge that will give us even higher void power generation rate and max void power so yeah a lot of cool upgrades are happening right now i think i'll actually do a bit more void runs we have two of those left the next reset will be in six hours so that won't be right now we can do some of those 42 runs and maybe if we can defeat those swarmers no basically if we'll get lucky we can get even higher and that will give us the most benefits so let's see turn this one off manually adjusting it oh wow they do insane damage guys now nah, we won't be able to and yeah even though right now we saved up three points eight multiplier for improved tracking here for our time and high compute bonuses the basis will give us 17 multiplier over here so i think that's worth it in order to do the reset we will also get 50 percent extra synth speed here and we need to change something here yeah and we will get some compute speed as well let me switch things around oh so yeah while we're getting those bonuses here we can do the reset how much do we have two hours that's too long so yeah meanwhile we can do the base carry challenge that will allow us to get the bonuses for the bases let's adjust this ship a bit so we will get laser cannons everywhere i want to see how it will work and yeah, everything else will be kind of useless so let's start this challenge i don't regret that i stayed here overnight because our research got crazy boost so i'm really happy about that oh the bad thing that during that time those things don't produce anything that's sad and that's our last boss over here let's see if we'll be able to finish it oh wow it's tough yeah because uh none of those things can be upgraded in my ship so let's do uh, a bit of change here i want to see what kind of weapon does the most damage to the boss and we will use that weapon later on gatlin laser wins the round so we will replace the laser cannons with a beam beam laser is working way better all right so beams and uh, gatlings so there we go left will be gatlin right will be beam let's retrofit and here is our boss being destroyed by all our weaponry let's see look at that dps come on no way okay we will need to adjust bases a bit i guess there we go i added some multipliers and we managed to finish this challenge quite easily so yeah now the bases should be able to do insane amount of upgrades really fast really cheap we can't afford those things yet though because we can only upgrade those things uh yes let's get auto building upgrade here for the ship we need to get it back to the normal position so laser cannon over here gatling laser over here and guys it's really important to get your normal weapons that are damaging in the right place because the first weapons are actually shooting earlier than the weapons in the rear so it's really important to get your supposed weaponry in the areas that are behind your main weapon wow that was surprising so i just picked up one salvage on the map and because of all the multipliers upgrade all managed to get me most of the stuff straight away this is totally insane i was wasn't expecting it to grow that fast so <laughs> yeah that's that's great but yeah guys we have to do a lot of experiments on the new ship in order to find out the best build heavy cruiser have a lot of slots and if you get any tips share them down below in the comments as well and yeah thank you very much for watching it's been stan kosh have a good one bye